and welcome back to my channel if it's your very first time stopping by you are so most definitely welcome to the nana nation and in this family we like to have our own hashtag so keep up with the hashtag use the hashtag tag me on insta tag me on youtube tag me wherever i'm gonna find it and find you and if you're a turning subscriber hey oh what's up oh what did he got you in the you know what's up you know what's up like no did i tell you did i tell you you know you know so thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel so today i decided to film a video on how i edit my pictures for instagram and also um yeah how i edit my pictures for instagram so there are few apps that i do like to use in, in terms of editing my pictures I love to use um, Lightroom, I use Facetune, I use RNI at times, sometimes I also do use Instagram depending on what the picture may be. So if you guys would like to know how I edit my pictures and like to tweak it up a little bit, how I make it look good on Instagram, <laughs> keep watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next slide. Okay, so now we're just quickly going to jump into Lightroom. I have a lot of apps on my phone so please don't judge. Okay, so I need to like actually start screen recording. So this picture I took a while back ago. This was at the Roxy Hotel when me and my friends went to um, create content. So when this picture was taken, you guys can see it's very dark right now. So we had to, I had to definitely find a way to kind of like make it lighter. So what I would do to this picture, I would jump straight into presets. I have a whole bunch of like personal presets that I made for myself. Um, I will find a way to kind of link my presets down for you guys so you guys can try to um, see them and use them. So for this kind of picture, already my skin looks a bit clear as you guys can see. I'll probably just have to like clear out the cheek area where the highlight is and just on the forehead just kind of make it a bit smoother and just kind of also give a little bit of detail to the, um, to the eyes as well. So we're going to jump into the bright presets. These are the user presets. These are my presets, okay? So this one's bright, but it automatically just lightens up my picture, which is exactly what we love. So because it looks yellow, my skin kind of looks yellow, and my jacket very looks much yellow instead of it looking orange. I mean, um, beige. So I go to color, and I go to light. So that so that preset automatically like does something to the light. Um, let me just check here. It already takes my exposure up to 0 0.89. You don't want the exposure going all the way up because it's just going to mess up the color. And your contrast don't, doesn't have to be all the way up high. So this preset I got from... This was one my presets. I was just like randomly working with presets. Just trying to find a preset that will work with whatever picture. Sometimes using one preset for for all pictures doesn't necessarily work. I have certain presets that I use for pictures um, that I take in the sun, that I take like outside with like bright lights, and the ones that I take in the house using like my studio lights. I have different presets for those because I want my pictures to look come out looking a certain way. So with this particular picture, I save. It's already done. So what I then do is. Uh, okay, wait, and so, okay, so right, select, and then I save it. I export it to camera roll, and then from camera roll, I go into Facetune. So into Facetune is where I'm now going to edit and clean out my face. So, yeah, I was taking other pictures earlier. So what I'm going to do immediately is I go to the white, and then I zoom in, and I kind of whiten out my eyes just a little bit. Because the picture was very dark in general and I had white eyeliner so I just like to I don't always want to go in hard you don't always want to go in hard especially if you using the whites just a little bit just so that it kind of makes it a bit diff, just to add a bit of a difference to it and then with my teeth I just like to add them a little bit whiter just a little bit not too much you don't want to go in ham with it so i like it so far so we can just check how different it looks you guys can definitely see the difference so you guys can tell the difference i had a bit of like a red spot in my one eye and it's now gone let me zoom in so you guys can see like that was there and now it's gone and then what i do is i go to smooth 
I don't extra I don't take I don't double tap on this one I use this one all the time then all I'm gonna simply do I lightly just like brush off when I'm using the smooth um, the smooth tool because I don't really want it to look too smooth and out sometimes you look at Instagram pictures some look over like face tuned I won't lie I used to make a mistake I used to like over face tune my pictures a lot but then after watching videos and learning that these tools are being overused and this is exactly how you can when I see how people um, teach you how to use those tools to kind of like make your pictures look better like it changed the whole game for me so for me that really does it I don't really go in that much just a little bit so you guys can see how bright and oily my skin looks so the smooth the soothing kind of just like helped it kind of look very clean so details the details I like to add are maybe just on my lashes and I tap with the details you don't want to brush in like this because now it makes it look so obvious that you edit it and you don't want to have that so always make sure that when you're adding details just like brush off very easy just like tap like you're tapping that is the secret you don't have to like go in ham just tap on it wherever you want detail to go on and you're good so what i also do is i go in on the lips and just tap 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 sometimes if i feel like the tapping is too much i then go in and i erase until i'm satisfied so right here i kind of want my jewelry to show you guys see i already edited that part out so i also tapped on that and then i also tapped on my chain as well just to kind of give it a bit of some vibe and there we go so you guys can see the detail no detail so detail no detail detail the detail is mostly on the lashes that's what i like to have my detail put on, on so what i normally do as well especially with like your lace fronts you guys can see over here it doesn't look too good so what i do is i take tones and then i use i click on picker and then on picker i'll pick the color and it's going to match the exact same color of the wig over here on the palette section so then i go on tones and then i just brush just a little bit you want to brush just so that the hairline also doesn't look too um messed up okay i kind of messed up this i'm going to go in with a razor and just like brush that line off and there we go so this is how i'd normally face tune my um my close-up picture so then go in and we save to camera roll so this is also another picture that I took out with my friends this was in Tribeca so with this picture it's all cleared out you guys can see um, so all I'm going to do is go into my presets again I'm gonna go to user presets so all depending on how I want it to feel so with this one I'm going to show you guys how I add my grainy um, options to the pictures too so Christmas one is normally one of my favorites if I'm taking like pictures outdoors like it looks so amazing So I'm going to use Colourpop. I named it Colourpop because it's easier for me to know that okay This one has the most color it makes it more vibrant and the colors stand out more So this one is more like a saturated kind of like um, Preset so I click on that one and then what I normally do is I have other presets too. So there's the regular creative presets and then these are mine. No, these are not my creative. It's not mine. I just have my own user presets. So I like to go on with grain because I love the whole grainy feeling for this picture. So you can either have light grain, medium grain, or a heavy grain, all depending on your feel. So I'm going to use the heavy grain because this is giving me very... Um, no, I'm actually going to just reduce it a little bit. I'm going to go medium. This picture is giving me more of like newspaper, like magazine article, old school vibes. So we're going to save that to camera roll. Okay. So now on camera roll, we are then going to go to RNI Film. This is a very good app. And I only use this app for one thing and one thing only. I use it for the dust effect that it has so it gives you an option to um, add like dust like either black dust or white dust on pictures so we're going to click on that click on that picture so I go to settings and then I go right to the end I don't use either of these settings I just go straight into dust so depending on what color I want so I think with this one I'm going to use a black 
So I keep clicking until I find the dust effect that actually like matches the, the feel I really want on this picture. So it's giving me more like newspaper vibes, like a bit of like Vogue-ish vibes. And one thing I always do whenever I use my dust, I don't like having um, my dust um, on my face. Because I feel like it really takes the focus off the face, even though it's just a full body picture. I want people to see the entire body, but I remove it off my face so people can still see um, my face as well. So, I think I'm happy with this one. So we save. So I hope you guys kind of get the whole, like, um, you guys kind of, like, gimmick everything that I do when I'm editing my pictures. So that's initially all I do. Some... I don't normally go for all presets. I go for some presets that I know that, okay, this preset is going to work well with this kind of picture. And yeah, like I say, some presets apply to where the picture is taken, the light that the picture has. You know, I look at all those aspects so that I know exactly what preset I'm going to use and how I'm actually going to make it work. So um, let me know if you guys have actually um, tried these before. And if you guys have amazing presets you guys would like for me to try, please let me know. And if you're selling presets, holler at me. Holla at your girl because I'm trying to give I'm trying to look cute on the brain. <laughs> so yo guys until next time thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Please don't forget to stay safe, stay home and be blessed. You staying home is actually saving someone's life. So do yourself a favor and do other people out there a favor. Stay home, stay blessed, and stay safe. Thought that you would be trouble. Got me losing all my control. I was good to you.